All right, guys, so we got to talk about this interesting story from this woman who apparently is calling out the sisterhood. OK, she is calling out modern women and pretty much putting the blame on them as to why men are joining the red pill. OK, now in this video, she's basically saying the only reason why men are joining the red pill is because of women. Now, I wouldn't go that far because the red pill is more so about awareness, okay? About awareness, having critical thinking, being an independent thinker, you know, improving a man's life. If it's with politics, finance, business, uh, fitness, um, you know, just anything that has to do with a man when it comes to self-improving. Now I do understand with what she's saying in this video. Okay. Because she's more, uh, specifying women specifically, but I just wanted to put that out there. She's basically saying more men are gravitating towards the red pill. They're simply becoming more aware and understanding that society, generally speaking, when it comes to the single dating market is not necessarily in the best interest for men. Take a look. That balloon popping dating show that's going viral on TikTok is cringe as hell. It's cringe as hell. The audacity, the caucasity of a lot of you women that go up there turning down men that can provide you with resources and solutions. What you do, you turn them down. That's so cringe. I seen a guy go up there. He said that he was an electrician. He was a plumber. He was a mechanic. This man is a provider. He is a jack of all trades and he was fairly attractive. You know, a woman got up there and said she didn't like his shoes and didn't like how he talked because he sounded like her little brother. You talk about self-sabotaging at an all time high. That's insane to me. Like that's crazy. And this is a, this is the problem with a lot of you women. And this is why a lot of us are single and we can't find anybody because we constantly self-sabotage but let these men start telling y'all women the truth Woo, boy oh hell gonna break loose where did they come up here and say we don't want a woman over 200 pounds or we don't want a woman that's wearing weave wigs a, a woman that got multiple baby daddies then that's when y'all gonna say oh he's simping he's sassy no you sassy Y'all women being sassy for years. You're constantly critiquing good men that can provide resources and solutions. This is what y'all do. I didn't see men on it. I didn't see, sorry. I didn't see women on that show. Down talk doctors, lawyers. Like that's crazy to me. Not saying that should be your ideal man because a lot of those doctors and lawyers are narcissists, but that's another video. But still, like y'all are critiquing regular degla men. That is a jack of all trades. And y'all women feel like y'all are the prize. Woo! Is it insane to me? Let these men start picking y'all apart. And a lot of y'all women that be on that show is really not even no eye candy like talking about. It's always the drop dead pretty women. That's more reasonable than y'all okay women. What's up with that? It's always you bad body that always got so much to say that's shaped like Gatorade bottles. What's up with that? <laughs> that's crazy to me. I never seen so many multiple women with up teen children and multiple baby daddies critique good men. You need to be lucky that they even want to play step daddy with that many kids. With all the baggage that you're bringing to the table. Then y'all wonder why men took the high road and then you got this red pill thing and you got all of these things because y'all have been critiquing men for so long and now they're fed up. Now they're saying, you know what? Since you want to do this and since you want to critique us for everything we're doing, lose weight. Do this and do that. You're not you're not even eye candy to be be so opinionated about me. Like that's crazy to me. There's nothing wrong with a well-built masculine man with that masculine energy. That's a soul provider that can provide you with resources and solutions. But you women don't see that though. You love to see it. Women calling out modern women for their hypocrisy. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's check out some of these comments. First commenter says, protect this woman at all costs. Next commenter says, I rather stay alone. Next commenter says, I'll be alone chilling with my four incomes, trying to figure out where I'm vacationing 
this summer. Next commenter says, single life is the best life. Next commenter says, I get rejected for being too nice. Next commenter says, social media has them thinking of only the likes and follows. Next commenter says, most adult black women are single these days from 18 to 55. What's going on? Next commenter says, speak. Women's standards, unrealistic. Very few guys are going to take the stepdaddy situation. Women need to wake up. You are not all that. Next commenter says, she's talking about the chick that had a ponytail <laughs> and no edges. All right, guys, so there you have it. Now I wanna go ahead and play this next clip of a man that's been married for 51 years, okay? The importance of being aware Okay, having a sense of awareness and understanding what's happening in today's society. Okay, this is an example of why guys lean towards the red pill. Okay, because in this clip, after being married for 51 years, come to find out his two kids aren't his. I have been married for 51 years. Got two sons, 42 and 40. Them deadbeats. I'm still supporting the little boogers. Needed to take a test to see if any of us had a kidney good enough for my brother. Found out something interesting. They ain't my kids. There's somebody else's. Of course, the only good thing is, I know it's not my fault that those two idiots got dumped into this world. Hell, I thought they took after their mother. Instead, they take after the plumber or the postman or the milkman or, yeah, they were milkmen back when they came around. I mean, God only knows. <laughs> it sure gets old. I do wish I knew who the real fathers were. And they ain't the same. She was bopping a couple of different guys. But if I could figure out who they were, I've been practicing law, law long enough that I pretty well figure I could sue there and get all my money back that I sunk into those two dead meat. It just chaps my that she couldn't tell me I'd probably forgiven her maybe not you know how it is hell yeah, boys y'all need to go get your own paternity test you can't tell how by looking who's the daddy unless you're looking down at the genetic level I've been in court thousands of times in paternity suits at four out of five times. Guy says he ain't the daddy, he's right. And the genetic test is the only way to prove it for sure. These women are hopping everything that looks fun. You thought you like sex. <laughs> you ain't nothing. Well, I guess that pretty well completes that story. I'll go home, start drafting up some divorce papers, see if I can't get free of that crazy bitch. I mean, I stayed with her for the sake of the children and the grandchildren, now the great-grandchildren. There ain't no kin of mine. All right, guys. So there you have it. Devastating, devastating news. The pain in his voice is absolutely heartbreaking. All right, guys. So let's check out some of these comments. First commenter says, that is what a broken heart looks like. What a witch of a wife. Next commenter says, sad part is he's the only outsider in his own family. Next commenter says, all that time just to find out that you don't have blood children of your own 
is crazy. Next commenter says, damn, I feel his pain. Next commenter says, dang, thought I had it bad. Next commenter says, DNA test the dog. Next commenter says, I don't wish this on nobody. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Go ahead and provide me some feedback. And until next time.